You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, saying Happy New Year to you. This should be the first Skyrim video of the year 2022. Now, this is a video where you are helping Dengir of Stoon, who was the former Jarl of Falkreath, and he was replaced by his nephew, whom you did a favor for, and, well, now you have to help three people in Falkreath in order to become a Thane. And once you become a Thane, you can buy property and build a house. I'll do a future video on building a house because Lakeview Manor is probably the best house to build in Skyrim. Now, you have to help Dengir. Well, one of his past relatives was a vampire, and someone uh, dis you know, disturbed the grave, and his relative came back from the dead and is now in a keep called Bloodlet Throne, which, unless you've explored the area around Falkreath and other areas, it's very difficult to get to. It takes a very long time. So, yeah, I'm walking right now, or my character is, and it takes forever to get there. And if you take a wrong turn, well, you end up running out of game. So let's get on with this mission. You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. No, it's too late for the ward stone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. Before you enter Bloodlet Throne, the actual keep, you want to go outside here. And there are several things that you can find. Not necessarily mission helpful, but kind of nice to have and sell. There is at the top here, you got to climb up this area here and walk up here. And there is a chest which has some decent money and some lock picks. And there's usually a bow and arrows kind of leveled to your character. It was an elven bow and glass arrows. My character's a higher level, but if you're a lower level character, you might get a dwarven bow and some steel arrows or something to that nature. Now, once you enter the keep, there's nothing in this wagon here, but once you enter the keep, you want to be very, very careful. There are traps, and you want to be sneaky as well. So there's nothing in this area, but before you enter those doors, you want to take a look. Again, I'm searching, but if you look, yep, you can trigger right there. You could trigger the flames and walk across it by accident. 
So I was being very careful. Now the flames are not going, and you want to kind of walk down this area right here, and you want to turn, and you see that kind of bars there, window blowing breeze. You want to look through these bars, and you can get a very good sniper shot at one of the baddies. I took down the vampire relatively quickly, but the thrall, well, a little more difficult. You want to search this area here and then continue to be sneaky, sneaky, and work your way down because there is, how shall I say, a surprise here. And you see those two gargoyles in the distance? One of them will erupt to life. And so I'm going to switch to my swords and third person view and see if I can trigger the guard goyles. I'm going to take the vampire fledgling. Yeah. So let's see if I can trigger the gargoyle here. I don't recall playing this mission when I didn't have any of the add-ons in, so this might have been added in with the Dawn Guard expansion. So like I said, I don't recall. There were vampires. This wooden door won't open, so you have to go straight. And yeah, I'm going to be a little careful, but you walk your way down. I'm going to fast forward to the next encounter. Is someone there? Oh. Epic kill there. Uh, you want to search this area very thoroughly because there are some potions and other stuff, but I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to fast forward to the next major encounter. Okay, you come upon this cavernous area, and you can do some sniping and take down a pretty much most of the bad guys with a little luck and some shooting. They're aware of my presence. It might not go too well, but like I said, you can try and do your best to stay back. And now you're hidden. You can sneak up and you can try and do some sniping. It'll bring out most of the bad guys. I'm going to let this play out a little bit and let you see how I do it. They're coming quickly. Time to switch to melee weapons. Uh, yeah, there is that one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to switch to melee weapons.
Sometimes the thralls are more tough than the vampires themselves. And usually the vampires and their thralls are leveled. So if you're a higher level character, the class of vampires should be similar in nature to your level. But that doesn't always work out. And the thralls, well, again, they're bandits of sorts. And they will be leveled more toward your character. Now I'm going to explore this lore, lore area. There's a gargoyle around here somewhere. You want to check this area out before you head up. And again, I'm not sure if the gargoyles and vampires. I never played this before when I didn't have the Dawn Guard expansion pack in. So someone let me know if you remember. Yeah, here's the gargoyle. And yeah, he goes down really, really quick. Gargoyles will have ore in them because they are an artificial construct. Now I'm going to just fast forward a little bit here because I'm exploring the area. When you come up the platform, you come to like this living quarters area. You want to take a look around. There's some books. Um, some potions, and a wolf in a cage, which kind of weird, how shall I say? And yeah, again, you got some books. They might be leveled books. You got an alchemy lab here. If you can, you can make some potions, play around with some ingredients. I will play around bone meal, death bell. Oh, ravage stamina, not bad. But, yeah, you can kind of mess around with stuff that you found, see what happens. And it's a good way to build up some of your alchemy skills is when you mess around and try and create concoctions. There's some websites that give you all the possible permutations. Again, like I said, I'm just messing around here. Ooh, regenerate health. But I digress. And this is kind of a living quarters area and you want to check out all the end tables and all the other places yeah i don't need the wooden plate this was when i was still playing around with yep there's the cages and a wolf in the cage with a wolf head on the wall and now we got uh, a flute hey flute i could sell petty soul gem um, again, you want to check around. There are some scrolls here. And you go through this living quarters area, check out the end tables. Probably nothing in them. Chest, always check out. Empty black soul gem. And, uh, yeah. Snowberries, nothing really worth reading. Skip the troll skull. Do I want to help the wolf out? Uh, nah, I'm just going to leave him alone. And then you got to cross over to this area. I'm going to fast forward to the next major encounter. Okay, this is where you get the major part of the story. I'll tell you right now. Flip to a bowl. And be sneaky, sneaky. Don't open and don't pull that chain. You've got this barrier between you and everyone else. The guy sitting on the throne up there is your main objective. You're not going to kill him in one shot. But you're going to piss him off and he's going to turn invisible and run around and make your life um, miserable. Valakar, Master Vampire. Yeah. Like I said, just keep this shut. They're not going to be able to get at you, and you can snipe them down. Once you take down all these death hounds and other bad guys, oh, a floating death hound. You can uh, then open up the chain and take down the master vampire. You got to chase him around. He's kind of a pain, but you can eventually, like I said, take him down.
this was kind of a personal arena of the bad guy where he held his own uh, blood sport type stuff. He's on the second floor. If you want to get to him, you have to activate a pull chain. And I'm trying to look for him. He, he is invisible. Maybe he ran out here. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, like I said, he becomes invisible. And this is why I always say use electrical when you are fighting in Skyrim. There seems to be an inordinate amount of magic using opponents who electrical destroys their magic and you can deplete them rather quickly. Now, again, this guy is invisible. And, yep, ooh, epic kill here. Once you take him down, there is a boss chest on the second level. And he's got some pretty good stuff here. Um, active effects. Nope, I don't have Sengar or whatever the heck it is. Good. I won't have to use a Cure Disease potion. Now, you can check the rest of this place out. But there really isn't much here. Again, this was just a arena for this guy to train his people. And there's an activation chain over here that allows you to get up to the second level. Uh, there's his throne. And there's some other things. You can kind of sit in this throne here and take in the view of the arena. Yeah. Yeah, watch people fight, watch vampires fight, but oh, you don't want to step forward. Now you got to walk all the way back up. The main chest is off here in the kind of alcove here. Nothing up around here, but off to the side. Why am I doing this? This is. Yeah, again, over here, over in this area, there's some ore, silver ore. Well, I need a pickaxe, I don't have one. And here is the master chest. And, oh, not bad stuff here. Lock picking, I can use that. Then you don't have to go all the way back because right here is the door bar. You know, open it up. And you are back here. It's a circular dungeon. You go down one end, and then you come out here. And once you leave Bloodlet Throne, you can go back and tell Dengir his uh, relative is dead and get a reward. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I was Jarl. My family thanks you. Take this as a token of our gratitude. You get 200 gold? Awesome. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave some comments. I try and respond to all of them. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four a week and you don't want to miss out. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.